So now let us examine the process of fertilization. Remember, we mentioned that reproduction is a process that gives rise to a young one. The fusion of the male and female gametes that give rise to the young one of the same kind. So that one is only possible through the process of fertilization. This is a process that occurs when the nucleus of a male gamete fuses with the nucleus of a female gamete. This forms a zygote. This process occurs on the upper part of the oviduct after copulation or after sexual intercourse. Then we ask ourselves, how does fertilization take place? So after ejaculation, the sperms are drawn up by suction, which is a force through the cervix into the uterus. From there, these sperms swim up to the oviduct using their tails. The swimming or propulsion is brought about by the lashing action of the tail. I want you to note also students that a single ejaculation contains millions of sperms, technically around 50 to 300 million. However, only one of them fertilize an ovum. As the ovum moves down the oviduct, it releases some chemicals which have to be neutralized by those produced by the acrosome. This happens before the sperm can penetrate the ovum. When the sperm comes into contact with the egg, the acrosome bursts open and releases the lytic enzymes. These lytic enzymes are required to digest the egg membrane, also referred to as the vitellin membrane. This diagram below illustrates the process of fertilization and we can see that the acrosome then turns inside out to form a fine filament that is used to penetrate the egg as shown below. What follows is that the vitellin membrane undergoes several changes that stops any other sperm from entering the ovum. So once the sperm enters the ovum, it is only the head that enters it and it bursts open to release the male nucleus. The male nucleus fuses with the female nucleus and forms a diploid zygote. So, after ovulation, it is important to know that the ovum can remain viable for a period of 8 to 24 hours before it dies. However, the sperm can remain viable for up to 2 to 3 days within the female reproductive tract. Let's go.